In the last few sessions, we've been working our way through the fundamentals of vector, working with vector shapes, outlines, fills, the Bezier tool. And in this session, I want to take a look at some very important functionality that we'll find in the multiple objects properties bar. And we're going to start with simple shapes here. We're going to see how we can apply the functionality that we have in this toolbar to our graphic design work with vector and Corel Draw. I'm going to scroll down here, and I'm just going to create a couple of simple shapes. I'm going to create a rectangle and we'll fill that with a green. I'm going to create a perfect circle just about the same size. We'll fill that with yellow holding down shift and control there. I'm going to bring this over here and then we're going to create a triangle and I'll use the polygon tool for that with three points and I'll hold down shift and control to make that a perfect triangle and we'll fill that with let's say a blue. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to go ahead and pile these on top of each other. I'll get my pick tool here and I'll just come here and put this rectangle and I'll put that rectangle over here on top of my circle over here and I'll bring this triangle down here into the bottom like that. And I've got multiple objects here. Now if I lasso all of these objects you'll notice that the properties bar changes and I'm going to bring this out so we can see this this is the property bar multiple objects. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. You can see my properties are changed to the property bar zoom tool, but we've got some good tools available for working with in this properties bar. When we have multiple objects selected, if I click off, you won't have that functionality available, but if you select the objects, last one select them, it becomes available. Let's take a look at the first tool here over to the right. Actually, it's a second tool coming in. And that's Create Boundary. Go ahead and click that, and you'll see what that did is it created a boundary around all of my objects. Now, this is very handy. Sometimes I'm working on a design, and I want to put an outline around several objects, but I don't want to put an outline around everything. And with this tool, after I've created a boundary, I could simply go to Object Properties, and I could come down here, and I could give that boundary an outline I could right click on that and go order to back of page and now I've got an outline around all of my objects that I created by creating a boundary. I'm going to go ahead and hit delete and delete that. I'm going to go ahead and select the triangle, hold down shift and select the circle. We'll get back to the multiple objects properties bar. Next thing is back minus front. I'll click on that and you'll see that what happened is is that my triangle was cut out of my circle. Hit control Z next to that is front minus back going the other way the circle is cut out of the triangle you'll notice that if we select all three of these objects go ahead and put all of these over the green here select all three of these objects now I've got multiple objects if I click on back minus front both of those objects will be cut out of the vector rectangle control Z and if we do the same here and we click again and go to the front minus back everything will be cut out except for the blue as you can see there the circle and the rectangle were cut out the next tool we have is the simplify tool go ahead and click on that and then we'll see what happened our circle was cut out and our square was cut out so all these objects are butting up against each other but there's nothing behind them anymore it's a simplified graphic. I'm going to hit Control Z and we'll go back. Lasso everything here. And the next tool is our trim tool. Now, if I click that, you'll see that the last object or the object that's on the bottom or the back of the selection of objects was trimmed by the objects on top. Hit Control Z and we'll take a look at that again. Here's the rectangle. We select everything, come over here and click on trim, and the last object is trimmed, but the other two are not. Hit Control Z and we'll go back again. Next we have our weld tool. And if we click weld, it combines all of our objects into one object and takes the fill color from the object that's on the bottom. If I have this as a red, the last object or the bottom object will be the fill color that is inherited by the new object. Click on weld and as you can see that's now a red. I'll hit control Z and we'll go back. 
we also have here combine and when I combine we'll see what happens it's like weld but the areas of the graphic that are overlapping are knocked out now I use all these tools very frequently when I'm doing graphic design work so you want to take some time to experiment with them and get used to them because you'll be able to use them a lot left click and bring this properties bar back up here into its proper position I'll go ahead and lasso all of this and delete it now let's take a look at using this tool in a very simple live project I'm going to take this logo shape I'm going to give it some transparency I'll come down here to the interactive tools come down to transparency select uniform 50% is ok I'm going to right click on this and select lock object now I can see that what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to trace this with shapes and actually what I'm going to want to do is rotate this I'm going to unlock this I'm going to click again I'm going to come up here left click hold down and rotate this and I may even hold down control to constrain that and I think that's going to be just fine right there now I'll right click and lock my object next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a simple rectangle so I'll go to the rectangle tool start up here in the upper left hand corner left click drag down to the lower right hand corner and release I can see that those corners are rounded I'll zoom in go to my shape tool and just round that corner just a bit so it matches with the roundness on the shape and the logo the next thing I'm going to do is create a circle perfect circle hold down shift and control just about the size of the circle inside of that logo shape I'm tracing or recreating now looking at this what I want to do is I want to reshape this and I can see these handles can't see these handles very good against the black there but I know they exist in the corners and that'll be fine right there I'll nudge this over just a hair use my arrow key there and you can arrow key to move your graphics as you see there next thing I'll do is create a rectangle to go right in here very simple graphic but we'll do this as a demonstration of the multi objects property run hold down shift select both of these hit E to center them now I can see I've got some curve coming out here but it looks like it's kind of straight so for that what I'll do is I'll create yet another rectangle perfect rectangle but before that I do that I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate these because I'm gonna weld in a minute and I want to have this shape available when I recreate this part of the logo and I'll just go ahead and take this I'm gonna rotate holding down control to constrain get that point right into there as you can see there and then I'll just go ahead and lasso everything and hit my E key which is going to align horizontally now I'm going to come up to my multiple objects properties bar and select weld then I'm going to take this object left click hold down control right click one time see the plus sign we're going to duplicate bring this over here and then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to mirror horizontally just like that so I've got those two set up then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this down here and I'm going to click and I'm going to start rotating can't see that because of the color of the gray hold down constraint hold down control to constrain bring that right into there and then that's all set down there now I can key that up with the arrow key and bring it into a little bit better a position now I've got those three objects recreated using shapes I'm going to left click hold down I'm going to come up here and click on back minus front because I know all of those objects are in the front and there is the basic shape of the logo set up as vector and I can fill that with a black next thing I'll do is take my ellipse and set this right in the center here now I'm going to show you a trick about shaping and resizing here I'm going to want to bring this right into the center I'm going to hold down my shift key to change my size coming off from the center and resizing with my shift key I'm going to bring this vector object which is this rectangle over here and put it right in here for the neck and I'm going to hit C to center that then I'm going to go ahead and hold down my shift key and select all of these come up and click on weld now this is a very simple vector logo recreation but there's a lot of pixels in this and if I want to make it big and print it out it's not going to work 
Now I've traced it and recreated it as vector, working with my shapes and the multiple objects properties bar, and I can make this as big as I want and output it at just about any resolution. So we'll go ahead and wrap here, and that'll be our session on the multiple objects properties bar, and we can remember that we want to be able to work with this properties bar and all of the tools that are available, and I'll hold down shift and bring it back, which is your boundary, create a boundary, back minus front, front minus back, simplify, intersect, trim, weld, and combine. Go ahead and wrap here, and we'll see you in our next session.